guys, so here we are back with Arwen Racing. So here I am in the car. I am currently doing practice. So this is just practice around Snerton. Obviously I've already done Snerton so I kinda know the track, I kinda know um roughly the breaking points and stuff like that. Obviously I've still got a lot to learn, but I know roughly and I know the track well now as well. So here I am letting someone pass and I think when I try to pull away again my engine stops working so I can't get started again and I thought it was just me being silly not being able to change the gears and I thought oh great but yeah it didn't work so I had to just kind of pull over to the outside of the track and um, I had to completely stop, turn off the ignition, turn it back on and then try go again. So as you can see I'm just stopping it, I keep trying everything to get it restarted, trying to press the button, it not working. So I think there must have been a red flag there, we were in and we're going back out, although Scott Beecroft waved me down. I wasn't quite sure, I thought I'd done something wrong, um, but then he stopped and I couldn't see him coming after me or anything. But then I saw him running towards the car. So I was like, uh oh, what have I done? Not realising that my passenger door um, was open. My dad's fault. Um, he left it open and closed it properly. <laughs> so here we are. Um, we're just going into line up for qualifying, I think. for qualifying so as you can tell I still need to work on my gear changes because they are still they're, they're getting better but they still need some work done to them um, but yeah it's getting better but as you can tell definitely need some work done so I was trying to get faster and faster each lap here I didn't go too well um, completely missed the apex there I don't know what happened but yeah didn't turn out too well that one and on the straight I could probably have went up to 5th gear but at this point I was a bit nervous going up to 5th gear because, you know, again, my gear changes are terrible, well they're not the best anyway, and just in case I went from 5th to like 2nd or something, so I was, a, I was like, I don't want to do that, or if I went from 5th to like 1st that would have been terrible as well. Um, so I just didn't want to take that chance and go to 5th gear, so I just left in 4th, hitting the limiter. <laughs> so, in qualifying, unfortunately I didn't realise, I, to be honest, I actually thought I was going pretty fast, not realising that I had oil all over my tyres because the drive shaft broke. So I was driving, driving around with oil all over my tyres. But I still thought I was going fast, I was still enjoying it, so <laughs> what's to complain? But yeah, unfortunately that made me last, um, which I was not happy about at all, because I thought it, it was me, I thought it was me and my driving was terrible, but then we found out that it wasn't just my driving. <laughs> so yeah, but unfortunately we had to start last, but that just means we can only go forward. So, um, <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I'm not very good at manoeuvres yet, so as we went to go out to go to the first race, I crashed into the barrier. So I could, we had to get out and go back, um, but thankfully we had some people who managed to help. So here we are just going out to start the first race, um, getting lined up on the grid. I was very last because it was just terrible. 
So here we are, and here we go. Um, bit of a slow start, kind of. But the car started to speed up, we started to go faster, which was really good. Um, gained another place there. Went down the inside, gained another place. So as you can see from the start I've made up quite a lot of places um, considering being right in the back. It was quite good. Um, my dad at the side, you can just see him going yeah, you know, excited because I was right at the back. So it was really good making up quite a lot of places as well. should have really been going down to second gear here, actually I think I did there, but on the other ones I don't think I went down to second gear, I think I left it, um, so I really should have went down to be honest, which wasn't good. I'm trying to make another place here, he cuts across in front of me, so I had to kind of back off or else, you know, he would have went right into me. As you can see, I tense the wheel very tightly, so if you look at my race gloves, the wee bits of, um, what's it called, the wee bits of rubber on them are starting to come off already and I've already had, I've only had them for a few months, but that just shows how tightly I grab the wheel, <laughs> just holding on, <laughs> and I don't even realise I do it, you can just just see even in this video how tightly I'm grabbing that wheel. It's, yeah. <laughs> As you can see he's a bit everywhere. Um, I'm trying to get past him because you know it's a bit all over the grass, all over everywhere <laughs> at the moment so yeah not sure if there's something going on or I don't know. I'm trying to keep up behind them so I can get a tool from them to go faster. Again, probably should have changed up to fifth gear but didn't. I think this is one of the laps that I stayed in third gear when I really should have changed it into second gear but you know. As you can see at the side there, Ben Greenhill going like, ah, come on, go faster, go faster, moving his arms. my dad in the background there making lots of noise. So if you can hear the rapper crunching about while well, trying to do a voiceover, what are they like? Dads. <laughs> what I didn't know about sn Snerton, like the first time is that they have sensors on the wee grassy bits, like the artificial grassy bits, which 
which I didn't know. So <laughs> at this point, I was like, oh, got to keep off them. I don't want to go on top of them in case, you know, I go over one of the sensors. Just trying to watch out for them as well, as well as other cars behind me. And in front. Lot of sliding going on there, wasn't too good. Gear changes weren't too good either. my face that means I am absolutely dripping of sweat <laughs> it was really warm and I was boiling as well so I was completely dripping of sweat <laughs> realizing that he was there and uh, I don't think he really realized that you could break that early or that late so um, yeah now my steering was gone and it was all squinty so I was really and yeah I had to drive like this the rest of the time <laughs> which was quite entertaining like driving and sim racing when something goes wrong but you're just having a bit of fun so you decide to drive anyway except this is in real life <laughs> but yeah I was the amount of places I lost because I was doing so well as well but you know things happen so it is what it is Too busy paying attention to the wheel, not paying attention to my gears. Here I am pointing at the wheel to Ben, going, uh, I don't know what's happened, what that do. Um, but yeah, he just looked at me like I was crazy, to be honest. <laughs> so I just kept going. As you can see, I think something's happened to Blakely's car as well. Um, I can't remember exactly, but. Um, the two wheels had went out and I think his steering was off as well after that so yeah both of our cars and wasn't too good and I'm pretty sure we were both that we had lost places as well as you can see the cars are miles ahead of us and we are miles behind I'm trying to catch up as much as possible but it's just really not working <laughs> are way ahead of us. I think something happened to Jacob Peep's car so that's why he was going slow. <laughs> so we just go past trying to go as fast as possible with the steering wheel like this which was quite eventful. at this point when I, as you can see while going along the straight I just started tapping the wheel because I was like it's not really any point <laughs> again I'm pointing at the wheel again I don't think Ben realises that the wheel's gone or the steering's gone so he keeps moving his hand going come on let's go faster <laughs> so <laughs> I was like <laughs> felt like ages since the race was lasting because obviously I only had like five minutes actually racing and then that was it my steering was gone um, so yeah it was quite boring the rest of the race to be honest 
because I wasn't really doing much apart from sliding every single corner. That's it, that's the race finish. We're just going round time, then back into here. Here's my dad filming the lovely car. <laughs> As you can see here, my car's not doing too well. <laughs> And here's my dad. Oh no, it's not my dad. It's Ben. So, did you enjoy the first race, Owen? Yeah. Good start, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> did you have a favourite moment in the race? A favourite overtake or anything? No. Yeah, just the start. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ended up getting punted in the second turn near the end, didn't you? Lost your steering. Yeah. How did it feel to drive with buggered steering? Strange, yeah. <laughs> I did wonder why you'd suddenly, after that, I, I knew something had gone on at that turn because you were much slower afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well, all good learning experience, eh? In your lovely front end of your car. How did that happen? So, here as you can see is Mick, the team principal, trying to bash out dents that I made um, 10 minutes before the first race, which was amazing. Um, and they're also trying to figure out what's wrong with the wheel, the steering, trying to fix it to get it straight again instead of all squinty. So that's what they're doing here, just trying to fix it all. Yeah, just the top, so steering wheel needs to be a little bit more left. Yeah. Driving out for the second race, me trying to make sure the steering's alright. They fixed most of it, it was pretty straight, but it wasn't perfect, you know. Um, it was still a wee bit awful I was driving, which I realised when I was driving. And I was like, oh great, it's still off. I got a pretty good start here as well. I am letting, I just let people go past me there basically. Obviously I think more about the damage to the car because money, expenses, I had already crashed into a barrier once today, I didn't want to crash into another car today, so I just tried to avoid them even though I really shouldn't have let them just go past me. went off there. As you can see again I'm <laughs> really holding on to that wheel as tight as possible. I'm not sh quite sure why I do it but like I just seem to really grip onto it and not really let go.
see I'm kind of having to move the wheel because if I move it straight I go over to the left um, so I just kind of have to move it so it's facing right a wee bit Now, because he went past me, I have a tool, so I managed to go right up behind him and then pull out, which was good because that helped me go faster. Again, on this straight, I probably could have went up to fifth gear, but again, I was scared, so I didn't go up to fifth gear just in case anything happened to the gearbox. lock up there. <laughs> bit of a nudge going on there between Blakely and I'm not sure who that is. We've got Hecton who just went off there. I don't know what happened but yeah. So, managed because of whatever happened, um, I think it was between Parker and Hexton, something happened, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, so they ended up having to drop him back, which wasn't too good, which meant I was able to catch up though, which was good. So we've managed to get past one person there. And we're gaining up on the next one, which is good. But again, I'm sure I went down to second gear there because, as you can see, they just get right up behind me. have a yellow flag here, um, don't know what's happened, I think someone's went off, or I think there must have been something on the track, but it's green flag again, and we go. From grabbing the wheel so tight, my fingers hurt, <laughs> so just kind of give them a wee stretch, and then they go tight back on the wheel. <laughs> red flag and safety car so this is the point where we're following the safety car around because of I think it must have been because of what happened between Jacob Peep and Jamie Gay. I think that was me waving to Ben because he was just going out for his race
Got some out of car footage there. Thank you so much for watching R1 underscore racing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and please give my sponsors a like and follow please and check out their websites as well. And also give me a follow on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook please. See you all in the next one. And the rest of the fighting team is out of In your car. <laughs> 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 Good, and the lights have gone off, and we've got a start, and it's Ben Greenhill who gets away first, and now uh, Kimberly and Kimberly are the So uh, we've got all eight cars on track, the last two, presumably Kimberly was changing on to wet, so we should feel all of the competitors all dry, as we said, quite a lot of circuit this one, so therefore, So, in the lead, 